Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike here at MH Tutorials. Well guys, today we are going to address uh, a question that I got several times actually. And this question was, can you show us how to put snow on objects? Uh, if that's the best way to put it, okay? So, uh, that's what we're going to do. I prepped a, a quick scene for this, which is a little birdhouse. It's just a... Uh, an object placed in front of an image. Okay, let's fire for shaded mode and let's get started. Okay, we're going to start off by drag selecting our uh, entire uh, object. We're going to go into our polygons menu to mesh and combine to make sure that's one object. And then we are going to go to our um, brush here, our selection brush. We're going to zoom in. First, right click and go to object mode. Hang on, right click face, select our brush. And now by holding down the B key on your keyboard in your left mouse button, you can make it bigger or smaller. We'll make it fairly small. And I'm just very quickly gonna go through this, but the more time you spend on detailing, the better your end result will be. And I'm just gonna simply, oops, not vertices, hang on, right click face. I'm just simply going to paint faces where I want snow to be on my object. Okay. And again, this is going to be extremely fast and rough. So if you want this to look really neat, just make sure you spend an appropriate amount of time on this. Okay. But the purpose of the tutorial is to show you the technique, not necessarily the end result, okay? Uh, that said, um, I came up with this method while watching a video uh, by a Japanese gentleman. Unfortunately, his name wasn't listed underneath the video. But I will try to find out his name and I will give him credit because this is his method, although not exactly the same but this is the person that gave me the idea to do this okay so i'll credit it to this guy now that part has been done um, and again i did it really quickly okay we got that we're going to go back to our polygons menu we're going to go to edit mesh and where do you go duplicate face right there and then we are going to hit four for wireframe mode there we go. We're going to select our object. Right click object mode. Now, right now you can see I have a s selected a piece of the snow, if you will, here as well. Now I got my entire frame. So while I got that, I'm going to hit Control H to hide that, which will leave us with um, the snow section that we just painted on. All right. We're going to drag select all of the snow, if you will. We're going to hit Control G to group that and mesh and combine. All right. Now that we've got that selected, we are going to go to our um, end dynamics menu and particles, create and particles. Make sure you've got points selected. Go to emit from object. Select surface as a type and set the speed to zero. Hit apply and go back. Now let's see what we got. We're going to do, I don't know, 5,000 frames. Actually, that's even 50. That's fine. I'm just going to hit play. Now, as you can see, there's a good amount of particles coming out here, right? Uh, but they're falling down, as you can see. Now, we need to fix that. The way we can fix that is to set the gravity to zero. Okay? So in our Nucleus 1 tab, we're going to bring gravity down to zero. Okay? Going to go back to frame 1 and hit play. And as you can see, the particles are starting to form on my object. All right? And we will just give that a sec. Just hit stop there. 
let's go to our particle shape and what we'll do is we will increase oops that's a bit much let's see if we set that to one that's not too bad okay so we got that we're going to stop there we are going to make sure that we have our particles selected like so we're going to go up to uh, modify convert end particles to polygons like that and then we are going to right click assign new material lambert change the color to white and then we are going to go to display show all and get back our house if you will uh, our birdhouse then we're going to hit five and we're going to hit our checkered box here i'm going to go to view bookmark and go to the bookmark that i created and let's give this a render We'll give the render a few more seconds. But as you can see, it's a fairly realistic scene. And again, um, the more detailed uh, and more time you take to apply the, uh, the snowy faces, if you will, uh, the better it's going to look. And uh, in this case, you could also add some snow to the chain and uh, you know to the corners as a sort of build up but uh, in essence this is the uh, the method to do this um, we'll just give the uh, render a few more seconds here almost done all right well, this is it, guys. Um, and again, I will try to list the guy that I, uh, I wanted to reference on this. Uh, if you've got any questions, as always, let me know. And uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.